Klaus Cast. Subscribe, yeah. Hey guys, and thanks for tuning into the Blops Cast. I'm Sean Quixote. And this here is your favorite pair of tube socks. And today we've got the second installment of the Spotlight series. Spotlight! And today we're featuring the Dead Zebra. Oh yeah, want to tell them a little about yourself there, buddy? Sure. Hey guys, uh, I'm the Dead Zebra. Um, I like to play basketball, play COD, and I'm, I'm actually really tall as tube socks can assess. Oh my god, he's about 6'9". He's standing above me right now. Oh yeah. He's sitting down. <laughs> So uh, he also likes to party, ladies. He's available. He's single. I try. Oh, yeah, five, five, five zebra. <laughs> <laughs> guess Does that work? Guess what the last oh, five is? No? Anyone? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so, uh, man, let's uh, get this video started here. One one question is, uh, if you're a dead zebra, how do you play? I can understand if you're a live zebra. Well, one question, um, how can you get off topic so soon in the video, <laughs> there, Sean? Um, Starting the video, let's talk about your setup, buddy. Uh, what do you like to use and why? Sure. Um, in this gameplay, I'm rocking the FAMAS with the silencer. Um, I'd love to have my a pistol as my secondary. It doesn't matter which one. And then my perks are um, lightweight, sleight of hand, and ninja. And I try to get pros for those and um, put those on as soon as I can get them. And then my kill streaks um, for this game, I changed it up a little bit are Blackbird, um, Chopper Gunner, and Dogs. I usually try and rock Spy Plane, Blackbird, Dogs, but I switched it up in this gameplay. And it worked out for you. Oh yeah, it did. Cool, cool, man. Um, now, I played with you for months and months, and one thing I can really notice and tell the viewers about is you are an incredibly aggressive player. I mean, you have the style of a raging mongoose. The style, <laughs> the grace. Raging mongoose. The dead zebra. <laughs> But uh, anyway, minus the epic voices, <laughs> yeah, dude, you always have an insanely high uh, score per minute, right almost as much as mine. <laughs> but, oh. but um, yeah, dude, you have a crazy great style, and you're a really interesting player, so tell them how what you use kind of ties into your playing style. I mean, I love to rush the middle and try and do the sides as well, but then um, I guess my playing style really is a life or death, like... It's either you get a kill or you die, and it's just, it's a 50-50 chance. Um, yeah, that's usually how Call of Duty works. Yeah. Either you get a kill or you die. Exactly, but I mean, my style is I rush into their base with three guy, three or four guys aiming at me, and I try and take them out as, if I can. Exactly, and it usually works out pretty well for you, buddy. But um, more specifically, how do your perks kind of tie into that? Okay, like, I use Ninja a lot and um, Slide of Hand a lot, and I love Ninja because, I mean... I, I listen for footsteps, and I can't hear my own, so the only footsteps I hear are my enemies or my teammates, and that helps me so much, because I'm always, if I hear footsteps, I'm turning around looking for the enemy. Yeah, exactly. You're probably usually in the spawn by yourself, and exactly. if you hear a footstep, it's probably not your teammate. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, I saw you use Lightweight as your first perk. How does that help you? Lightweight is so useful, because I love to sprint, like I said, and I get around the map so fast with Lightweight, and it's just, I love it. Exactly, and on your guns, you actually use a silencer. Does that help you with lightweight kind of uh, flank your enemies sometimes when you're in the spawn? Yeah, exactly, and ninja ties into that too, because they can't hear you when you walk, and it's lightweight and ninja and sleight of hand all go together in some in my way of playing. Very, like very cool. It's a silent man. killing machine of death. Exactly. <laughs> all right, one thing I've noticed with your style is you'll kind of go up and you know in, into their spawn a little bit and you'll pick off a few people and then you kind of retreat and then go to a different part of their spawn that seems like a really great hybrid of the two different tactics you know like lying back versus being super aggressive exactly i mean like you said going up to that one point towards their spawn and killing a couple people and then moving back so that you don't get naded because they'll know where you are from their watching their kill cam or something like that and then if you go back you can toss a nade um and they won't know where exactly where you are yeah, man, that makes a lot of sense. All right, so uh, since we had a video about it, what grenade do you like to use and why? I always try to use the frag grenade. I mean, I love being able to cook my grenade and toss it up for not even a second and kill the guy up in a window or a guy in a corner, like, turn, go around the corner, chuck your grenade, it explodes in a matter of seconds, and the guy's dead. Oh, yes, the, various, the various household uses of a frag grenade. Exactly. <laughs> Get that dirt right off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Get that scum out of that sniper tower. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. It's... That burns, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, anyway. That was, that, was, that was cooking, for those of you who didn't know. Anyway, back on track here, man. I also noticed that throughout your games, 
you whenever you run by a, like a solid uh, primary that an enemy dropped, you switch to your secondary and pick it up. How does that help you? I mean, it helps me a lot. Like if I'm rocking my regular gun and I I'm shooting two guys and I run out of ammo, I can just switch right to the next gun that I picked up and spray some more guys. And then once I'm reloaded with both guns, I can just do it again. So it's kind of like an alternative to having a scavenger. Exactly. Like you can pick up a different kind of gun and you'll have just yeah, it's awesome. It's like manual scavenger. <laughs> exactly. For the grinders out there. Right. But yeah, man, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I usually do dual mags, so I don't really need that because I tend to have quite a bit of ammo. Mm -hmm. But I can see how if you use uh, like a silencer like you're using, that'd be pretty helpful. Yeah, I mean, I love the silencer, and the only way I could really get rid of it, I, I actually couldn't. I would have to have <laughs> Warlord and use that to have my dual mags, so I, I just... I can't do it. That is some unconditional love from you big giant beast. <laughs> I, I know. I know. <laughs> so, uh, one thing that every single Call of Duty player seems to have is their least favorite aspect of the game. Mine, probably noob tubes. What's yours? Either, it's probably either noob tubes like you or, or ghost. I mean, I get why people use it. I just, I just get really mad when I get killed by a ghost guy. I mean, I will assess to it. I use ghost when I play search and destroy, but I just don't really like it at all. Do you want me to uh, play a song for you on the world's tiniest violin? <laughs> Do it. I, I really want you to. <laughs> um, but um, talking about your kill streaks, man, one thing I noticed is you've been getting like. Did you just punch that guy in the face with bullets? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you've been getting ridiculous amounts of blackbirds, dude. I bet your teammates love you unconditionally. Oh. How does that help your uh, win loss ratio and your style, too? I mean, it really helps my win loss because you can see exactly where the enemy is. And I just, I love it, because it, it doesn't just help me out, it helps my teammates out too, and I, I always love to be a team player. Oh, One thing I noticed right there player. is, uh, it seemed like you were trying to uh, like call your Blackbird in, but there's a chopper gunner in front of it. <laughs> you, oh yeah. I think uh, they should really implement some kind of a system that you can page through your kill streaks. That would, I mean, be, that would oh. be really nice, I would love that. That, that would add like so much strategy to the game, and there's really no reason you can. I mean, you earned them. You should be able to use them how you want. Yeah, you, you use them exactly. How I you don't want. know, man. I mean, if I was a soldier on the field and I had a couple of those little clicky button thingies, <laughs> I would. I mean, if I had them all in my pocket, I probably wouldn't be able to grab the I bottom one. I don't know. One. I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> what buttons do? <laughs> but, but um, yeah, man, that's pretty cool. So, so what well, you get like what three or four blackbirds this round? Uh, yep. Two chopper gunners and one dogs. Two dogs. Two dogs. Damn. You are a big giant beast. I, I know. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and he's not talking about his height. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> so uh, one question to send you off real quick here is, uh, what's your favorite cereal? Well, I think we caught him off guard with that one. <laughs> Well, I think my favorite cereal is Frosted Flakes and a close tie with Wheaties because Wheaties really gets me going. All right, man. Now, when you pour your milk into your Frosted Flakes, what kind of routes do you take? Do you take a direct route <laughs> to the middle or do you tend to kind of oh, scavenge off to the sides a little? And how does that help your game? It depends on how I'm feeling, the situation. How does help your breakfast? You know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so it probably helps his game <laughs> and it ha in yeah, an indirect exactly. fashion. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot for coming on today. I mean, we really enjoyed having you on the show. 66 and 4, dude, you are a machine. Just go home right now. We don't even <laughs> want you here anymore. You're making me and Sean look bad. Thanks for stopping by, man. I've been Tube Socks. I've been Sean Kierde. And I've been the Dead Zebra. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.